All right, I'm back. So I just, it looks like that last trade I made uh, wound up working out. So you can see here that, well, first let me clarify that. It worked out, but unexpectedly. <laughs> so let's pull up the chart of Starbucks and then I'll get back uh, to that trade. Okay, so Starbucks was up 3.69% today. Totally unexpected all right so maybe if i kept other trades open i would have been okay i don't know i'm still leaning towards analysis i showed in the last update so that non-directional trade i made the call option wound up being profitable what i want to show you though is market club also signaled the same kind of a stance that i showed you in the last update as far as you know that pullback the the market is still in the long term upward trend but we have these pullbacks and until that stock breaks through that descending line of resistance here i can't say the upward trend is resumed yet right now it's still in a pullback or a downward trend until it breaks that trend line um you know and preferably maybe on higher volume volume was somewhat higher today so maybe this would be the final day it breaks that trend line but i'll i'll show you how i manage that in a second let me pull up the chart real quick to show you what i was talking about as far as market club Okay, so we can see the trend score um, has changed the market cup to plus 75. But just yesterday, we had a new trade triangle, and that was a weekly red. So, you know, it takes a while for the weeklies and the monthlies to kick in, but the weekly finally kicked in, you know. And when I was recording that last update, this weekly wasn't there, you know. So my just manual analysis, um, you know, kind of agreed with the eventual trade triangle that showed up. So now we have this mixed signals. I consider it like schizophrenia. The long-term signal on the stock is up, you know, and we don't need the trade triangles to tell us that. We can pull up a two-year chart and we can clearly see the long-term trend is up. That's what this monthly is. It's telling us the long-term trend is up. Then, you know, as you can see here, the intermediate trend is down. So the weeklies are like the intermediate trend. So it's saying in the next, you know, few weeks or whatever, um, the stock may have some trouble here. So what you can see is back-to-back -back weeklies, red, green, red. This is what the, I call a channel. The stock is sending mixed signals. It might just stay sideways for a while. Um, but, you know, just yesterday, it signaled a weekly red, which means the stock would go down. And, you know, I kind of alluded to it. What if, you know, I told you that my stance here was that, you know, it was going to keep going down until it broke this trend line. What if I tried to predict and you know I, I bought a put option only, then I would be pretty upset today with the stock being up 3.69%. And what if I just treated the trade triangles like they were the law and put everything on this red trade triangle? Well, again, also I would be upset because the stock just wound up going up today uh, pretty heavy, which is kind of weird. I, I don't I don't particularly, I don't watch the news or anything like that or TV, so I don't know why that happened, but it, it doesn't matter. I wound up profiting regardless. So we can see here, and again, the call option portion wound up profiting. I, can, I bought the call option yesterday for $0.38. Cents. Today, I closed out that trade for $1.12. The reason I closed it out is because my stance was, was somewhat, you know, uh, it, that it may go down. The market club trade triangle was showing that it may go down, and today it just happened to be up 3.69%. So I honestly didn't expect to make money on the call option. But I, I did it. And I was like, well, let me go ahead and extract my profit from the call option. So I sold it for 112, bought it for 38 cents. So I made a profit of 74 cents. Divide that by your original investment. And you can see just in one day, I made a profit of 194% return on my money. Now it was, you know, again, forget the dollar amounts because there's only $38, $100 here and there. It all adds up. But think about the percentages. Where else can you earn 194% return on your money? And this is my real money account that you're looking at. So when I get the naysayers and people who tell me this stuff is is not true, I'm trying to scam people, you know, part of me gets, I take it personally. I get upset because I'm like, I'm showing people the truth. And a lot of people won't show you this truth. Um, and But I'm like, this stuff is possible. I've been doing it for over 10 years now. And you can't argue with the results. As my mentor said, results don't lie. Either you're rich or you're not. Either you're you know, you have money or you don't. And, you know, these results are not a lie. I, I had 194% return on my money in one day. So those naysayers can keep their opinion and I'll keep the money I'm making by using this. And I also encourage you to use this uh, prudently. And that's why I'm sharing these videos with you so I can teach you step by step how to do this. All right. So anyway, let me stop. I'm getting all worked up emotionally. So 
let me get back to the analysis here. So what I did was, well, I think the stock may be Hey, I just want to remind you before you go that if you want to watch the full length videos, just go on over to TraderTravis.com and look for the Transparent Trading Academy links. Now, membership in the Academy is completely free. It's, it's my way of adding value to your life without you having to pay me a dime. And for a limited time, I'm giving away a bonus to all new members. It's called the Hot Stock Formula. This tutorial is going to teach you how to find the top 10 to 20 percent of all stocks in the market. Again, if you're interested, just go on over to TraderTravis.com and sign up for your free membership. You take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.